The National Collegiate Athletic Association is allowing its employees, rather its student athletes, to take a day off to vote on November 3rd. Student athletes don't get paid and are volunteers who happen to play college sports. And in the football and basketball area, the student athletes bring in an awful lot of money to the college sports industry. The college sports industry holds all the cards in the relationship between the schools and the student athletes and seemingly creates rules on the go to make sure the student athletes are grateful to get an almost full scholarship and do what the schools want, which is using student athletes to raise money for the schools. But the NCAA suffered another blow in trying to keep money away from the student athletes when New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signed into law a bill that allows student athletes in the state to make money off of their faces. Murphy's signature also allows student athletes to hire an agent or an attorney and has told the NCAA that student athletes cannot be penalized and lose athletic eligibility by getting money from a marketing partner or having an agent. Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander wants to see student athletes get paid as well, not just the stars who are able to sell their faces to advertisers. Alexander does not want to see colleges pay the players. Instead, he suggests the money headed to a star should be shared among the players' teammates. That is pie-in-the-sky thinking. Advertisers are not going to sign up an entire team. Alexander said if only the stars get paid, they should leave the college ranks and turn pro. Meanwhile, Utah Senator Mitt Romney is not opposed to paying student athletes, but he thinks no college athlete should make more than $50,000 annually. The fight over student athletes getting paid continues, but California, New Jersey, and other states are changing the rules, leaving the NCAA reeling. I'm Evan Weiner.